Hello and welcome back to my channel. I am Georgia McGilly from Georgia Best Photography and today we are going to be seeing the wonderful Kirsty from The Flower Mill. She is an expert wedding florist and she's going to be giving us some tips on how to prepare and how to choose your wedding flowers, what's best in what season and what to do before you approach your florist. So these are really essential important things to know before you go into your wedding planning. So make sure you don't forget to hit subscribe and the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on any more of this wedding interview series. We're interviewing many many more wedding experts over the next few weeks so don't miss out on that and we will get straight into it. Okay so what do couples need to think about before they consult their wedding florist? So it's always best to get a little bit prepared before your consultation so I always suggest that people come with some sort of imagery so it might only be a handful of images but it could be digital or like scrapbook form. Um, this just helps your florist gauge what, what sort of style and colour scheme you're going for, especially with colours because one person's blush pink might be slightly different to how you interpret it. So if you've got a collection of images, it, it just sort of helps us narrow down exactly where you're going with it. Great, so for you, how does your sort of booking process work, consultations all the way up to the big day? Okay, so normally uh, couples or brides will get in contact um, one way or another, whether it's the phone, social media or on our website contact form. Once we've got sort of the initial information, so um, date, venue, timings, and if I'm available, we then get you booked in for a consultation. Uh, consultations normally take sort of up to an hour, and that's where we sort of really narrow down all your requirements and start styling and planning, and that also helps me give you an accurate quote. Perfect. So do couples need to have their bridesmaid dresses or suits chosen before the first consultation? Not necessarily. Um, it is good to have a clear colour scheme um, as long as you've got sort of a guidance. If you want an exact match then yeah we need to come back with a colour swatch of the dresses or the ties um, so we can, close, we can closely match a, a rose colour to the material um, but as, if you're just happy with a general colour scheme then that's best to sort first. Perfect. So do couples need to have a venue and their date? booked before yeah I always suggest I'm sort of a little bit further down the way with planning so seasonal availability is obviously a big factor when you're choosing your wedding flowers so date must be picked first because obviously there are some things you can't have peonies in December yeah um, venue I always say yes to get your venue booked before you start consulting with your florist as well because there might be areas that you've not thought about decorating or you've not realized need decor um, it's always best to have a full walk around of your venue before you meet any sort of stylist or florist. Um, and it's always good to choose a florist that is familiar with your venue because they will know the areas that need decorating perhaps better than you do yourself. Yeah, perfect. So how far in advance should you book a florist? I know you said you're a bit, little bit further down the line, but kind of how far in advance before the big day? I would say that my couples uh, book me sort of on average 18 months before their date um, that's not sort of set in stone it can be earlier or later I think my couples book me 18 months in advance because I get booked up now so if you've got a supplier that you know you definitely want I would book them up sooner rather than later just because if they're like myself I only sort of take two weddings a weekend um, but yeah as long as you've got your venue and your date in place first then, then we can talk yeah, perfect. So what would your preferred way be um, when they're presenting their ideas and stuff? Is there something like if they've made a Pinterest board, for example, would that be the best way for them to come with their ideas for your consultation? Yeah, I do like Pinterest, but I'm so old school. I like paper forms of everything. So it's, it's quite nice when people almost do a mood board themselves and come out with a printout or even if it's sort of cut out pictures from other magazines and things. I always like to have a paper version, even when I'm consulting. I still keep all my consultation notes right until that wedding is done just because I understand my writing better than anything that's typed up so yeah I'm old school and like paper in front of me. <laughs> that's amazing and then one little last question is just um, what sort of flowers are best in each season? So um, with winter there's so many nice lush foliages that give texture and colour um, even if you don't necessarily have that many flowers in it, I always think wintry foliages are lovely. So eucalyptus is, is a winter foliage um, and that's sort of like a really soft muted grey green. 
uh, spring, anything bulb, so tulips, um, hyacinths, narcissi, anything like that, really sort of delicate, fragrant stuff. Um, summer months, so sort of May, June, July, peonies are gorgeous, everyone loves peonies. And then sort of late summer you're moving into hydrangeas, which are always stunning with weddings, they make such a bold impact. Um, and autumn, again, I'd go back to foliages. Like I like all the, the colour changes, so when leaves sort of start going golden, you get really nice red oak leaves that time of year. Um, and I quite like, with the dry florals trend, I quite like using dry florals in autumn. Um, they just give a lot of texture. You've got lots of pampas grass at the beginning of autumn, so yeah. Amazing. Thank you so much for all these tips. I know that our audience are going to love it because it's really helpful to be able to actually hear from a florist before yeah. you approach a florist to kind of get those ideas so that you're prepared before you come. So thank you so much for allowing us into your shop and to chat all things wedding floristry and I'm sure we'll talk very, very soon. Okay, so thank you guys so much for watching that. If you haven't already, go ahead and watch the video from last week where Kirsty's chatting all about how she got into the wedding industry and her years of floristry experience don't forget to hit the subscribe and the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on next week's extra wedding industry expert interviews and thank you so much for watching happy wedding planning and I'm always cheering you on <laughs>